Hello, hello, everybody. I am Meg. I'm your community manager here at Simplify.co. And today we are doing an amazing community webinar about discovering and building your brand. So we're really excited to have you here. Simplified is one app for all of your marketing. You can design, you can create videos and animations, write all of your copy with our AI writer, and you can even publish it to all of your social channels right within the same tool. So Simplified is all about helping you guys do more with less. And today we'll be discovering and building our brands so that we can create some amazing content on Simplified to let the world know about your offer and your business. Okay, so today we'll be going over what is a brand? How can I discover my brand? Who is my target audience? And then of course, how to stay on brand. So to kick things off, a brand is the image that customers have of your business. And this is really important to establish and think intentionally about on the front end of starting your business. So many people think that branding is just some brand colors and a logo, but actually it is the story that you're telling and it is the image that you're portraying to your customers on the front end. And you wanna make sure that all of your marketing and everything that goes into marketing your business reflects back on your brand. So today our special guest Jeannie is here as the expert in the branding field to help us with five steps to discover your brand. So thanks so much for being with us, Jeannie. Oh, well, thank you so much for inviting me. I'm honored. A little background about myself. I have been in marketing for decades and decided to take my expertise to social media and help uh, marketers develop their brand, discover their brand so that they can attract uh, their ideal clients. So let's start with discovering your brand. And that's the first step, absolutely. A very simple step before you start to think about your brand and think of your own unique abilities, think of two or three people that you admire that you really enjoy their presence on social media. You really enjoy uh, what they do, their content that they're putting out. Think of them. What do you notice about them? What about their presence? What are they wearing? Are they more formal? Are they more jovial? Do they joke around with it? Are they more casual? What do you like best about them? What message do they convey? And how do they convey it? Chances are that's your style too. So think of those two, three people, and they could be anywhere. They could be on LinkedIn, they could be on Facebook. It doesn't matter, but watch what they do and jot down some notes and create a little outline of what you like. I love that so much. That is so smart. And I would love to know from you guys, who are some of your favorite people to follow on these social networks? Go ahead and tag them in the comments or at least write their name and the platform that they're on. We would love to be able to see a little bit of the people that you admire and what you're going for. And of course, with social media, the number one person is Gary Vee. So he would be an, definitely an excellent one to watch. <laughs> now let's move on. Step two, what do you love? This is key for branding. What are you passionate about? What are your interests? The secret sauce is talking about your passions and attracting like-minded people. Then you can connect with those people. They can connect with you. You can turn them into prospects and then elegantly turn them into a client. And that right there is the pro tip. It sounds like we're getting a sense of Genie's branding already. Elegantly turn them into clients. I love that phrase. Now, step three. Most important is really what do you disagree with? The flip side of knowing your passions is also knowing what you disagree with. Where are you gonna draw the line? What will you not tolerate? And that keeps you in integrity. It really, really does. So you cannot, in a brand, appeal to everyone. Then you won't appeal to anybody. Number two, 
find what you love. Number three, find what you will not tolerate. That's actually so smart. And I've never really thought about that in the conversation of building your brand or thinking about your brand, but that's such a crucial part to think about what do you disagree with and what are you not going to cater to? Because there's always going to be, you know, users or followers or whoever that wants you to do everything. And we know from experience that it's great to niche down and really find out what you're great at. Yes, absolutely. And then step number four, how are you going to tell the public what your brand is, your personal branding statement? Who are you? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to help? What is your current role? Where do you want to go with your online presence? So you need to think about this. Three specific questions. What are you an expert in? The value that you're gonna to offer to your audience and to your clients. Second one. What are you trying to help and who are you trying to help? Who's your target audience? And the third question is, what sets your personal brand apart? What are going to be the results that your client is going to achieve if they purchase your product or purchase your program or obtain your service? Those are the three key questions you need to ask in order for you to develop your personal brand statement. And I don't know if you've heard this before. It's an I help statement. I help who do what to achieve these results. Yes, that's the key to everybody's Instagram bio. <laughs> yes, it sure is. That's amazing. Would you share with us like an example of your personal brand statement and what who you help and what you do and what those results are? Oh, I surely will. I help network marketers build their brand on social media so that they can leverage Facebook and Instagram to generate sales and find team members. Clients come to me and most marketers, they want to market the company. Brand is you, it's not your company. So that's such a huge mistake that most marketers will do. They'll brand the company, not themselves. And people will buy from people, not necessarily the company. There's a takeaway for you. People will buy from people, not necessarily from the company. So go ahead and type that in the comments because that is an excellent takeaway. Thank you so much, Jeannie. Let's go ahead and take a stab at it. Give us a quick I help statement in the comments. Who do you help? What do you help them do? And what are the results that you help them achieve? And even if you've never done a brand statement before, you know, we're all learning together. So go ahead and give us your best attempt in the comments right now. Oh, I'd love to see them. Because then I'll get ideas too. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. And step five, you have to know where does your audience hang out? Target audience is obviously who you're helping in your I help statement. But where do they hang out? If they're in their 20s and 30s, they're on Instagram and TikTok. If they're business professionals, they're on LinkedIn. You know, if they're network marketers, they're on Facebook. <laughs> and affiliate marketers, they're on Facebook. So your target audience, where do they hang out? That's where you need to hang out and learn that platform so that Simplified can develop the content for you. And you can just <laughs> post it. So I'm gonna turn this over to Meg. Now that we've established our our brand message and our brand statement, now we are prepared and we're ready to create some content that reflects that branding to let people know about our brand. I'm going to show you how you can leverage Simplify to be able to stay on brand and make sure that everything that you communicate and put out in the world is on brand and really communicating that I help statement. So I'm going to show you how you can do this on the free plan. And then of course you can subscribe to some of our paid subscriptions to be able to have access to more than one brand kit. That's in case you are maybe a freelancer or a social media marketer, and you have multiple clients or multiple brand kits that you're managing and that you're creating content for. So you'll notice in this left-hand toolbar, there is a art palette and it says brand kit. And when you open that up, you'll see this screen. Now you can add a brand kit by clicking this button. That is for our updated subscriptions. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and name this brand kit. So you'll just click here and then we'll name it Simplify. And then we're gonna upload our logo. So we can just drag and drop our brand images right here. And then there it is, uploaded. 
We can add multiple brand images and logos in case you have a horizontal logo and then you have maybe just like the S. You can upload multiples. Then you can even upload your own custom fonts. And this is where Simplified really edges out the competition. Not only can you select custom fonts and add those to your brand kit, but you can actually upload your own TTF or OTF formats to be able to have your custom fonts on all of your projects, whether it's videos, animations, Instagram posts. Then we're of course gonna add our brand colors, which you want to be able to invoke the feeling of your brand. So we're gonna just go with some of these. Okay, so if we, a quick hack for finding amazing brand colors that go together is you can go to Pinterest and you can just search brand colors and they have all of these amazing palettes with specific hex codes. So if I had a certain hex code that I wanted to put in, I can just type it right here. So let's say that I want to add a little yellow. I could add that to my brand kit there as well. You can add colors by clicking this little plus button, and then you can delete colors by clicking this little X in the upper right hand corner. So here's my brand colors. I've got my logo. I can upload my fonts. And now I'm gonna show you how to create and adapt our design templates to be able to reflect our brand. So we'll go over to dashboard again. And then we're gonna click on design template. And in Simplified's template library, you can search by keyword, the type of post that you're trying to create, or by some specific dimensions. So today let's go for some online ads and let's create a Facebook feed ad because our target audience hangs out on Facebook. So we can scroll through and find a template that speaks to us and that we like and we think goes with our brand, or we can even browse by category in this top toolbar. Let's go for advertising and hit use template. This has nothing to do with my niche, so I'm gonna show you how to customize it really quickly with our brand colors. So first, I'll select this image, and then in the top toolbar, I'll just click the Replace Image button, and in a single click, I can browse millions of different stock images or even replace it with a video. So today, let's look for network marketing and see what types of images are gonna come up. We'll go with the globe because we're going global. And in just one click, you can see that the image has been replaced. Now let's go ahead and adjust these colors to reflect our brand kit. So I'm gonna select my image and then I'll come up to the top toolbar and click this little art palette again. And then I'll click on the actual color. Right here are all of my brand colors that I just uploaded to my brand kit, ready to customize. I can even adjust the color of my font to reflect my brand colors. And in just a few clicks, you can see that I'm ready to go and it's ready to post on my social. Now I'll be able to access my brand assets by clicking on my assets and then you'll see my uploaded logo right here. I'll just click it, it'll drop right onto my image and then I can add it in the upper corner here to make sure that I'm staying on brand at all times. You can also, of course, add tons of icons, visuals. We have some collections here that are designed by our in-house simplified design team. And then we have GIFs and videos and anything else you could ever think of available in our Simplified Designer. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I would love to know what your brand kit is. So once you upload your brand kit, let's go ahead and take a screenshot and put that in the comments here on this video so that we can see what your brand is, what your brand statement is, and what your brand colors are. We would love to help you on your branding journey. With Simplified.co, you can stay on brand all the time. And I hope that this has helped you discover your brand. Meg again, thank you for having me. And if anybody has questions about finding their niche and finding their brand, feel free to reach out to me. You can just tag at Jeannie Buhl, B-U-H-L, and then you'll be able to ask her all of your questions. Thank you guys so much.